So please join me in welcoming Dwayne Kramer. Uh, good afternoon, everyone, and really thank you for that warm welcome. Uh, I am so thrilled to be here today and really honored to be in the presence of so many friends. And I first want to start thanking you by saying that you give me life and a reason for living. So um, I'm also happy to be here with so many HIV and AIDS activists, advocates, as well as my brothers and sisters who are living with the virus. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Dwayne Kramer, and I'm a creative person, most notably known as a photographer, and I'm the luckiest person in the world. I get to express myself creatively every day with the work that I do with many of you, and the work that I do around being creative doesn't really stop with my photography. I found that it's really essential to be creative when I'm working with my doctor and other healthcare providers in figuring out the best HIV treatment plan for me. And for those of you that are living with the virus, I encourage you to do the same. For those of you that are working with people living with HIV, I encourage you to help give them the skills that they need to figure out what's best for them. And really, all of this is why I came to be a part of the iDesign campaign. It's really a logical extension of the work that I'm doing. And together with Mondo, our desire to educate is really boundless. And this campaign is just an extension of all of that. Uh, being an activist for over 25 years, I've been able to really contribute to raising awareness about HIV and AIDS through the work that I do. And I couldn't be luckier, as I said before. This is an important condition that we need to beat. We're close to an end. And uh, however, there's a lot of work to be done. I'm going to start out by having you all kind of work with me to think about someone that you've lost. I think it's appropriate with the quilt here that we just stop for a few seconds and think of someone that we've lost to HIV or AIDS or to any other cause. We all know how that feels, you know, the feeling of loss, of feeling scared, of feeling robbed of someone that we loved. Well, the first person that I knew to die of AIDS was my best friend. This was almost 30 years ago, and my best friend was my father. When he died, uh, my sisters and I were so ashamed, so scared that he had died of AIDS-related complications that we told people he had died of cancer. Um, it was very hard, uh, and we also helped, had another secret. Not only did our father love men, but he loved, he loved not only did he love women, but he loved men as well. So this was another secret that we were so afraid of. There's so much stigma attached to having HIV and to loving people of the same gender. Then, it was 10 years later that I found out that I was HIV positive. And that was really a pivotal moment in my life because I, again, had those same feelings of being ashamed, of being scared. I didn't know what was important, what, what to talk about. And quite frankly, it was only after my mother, my sisters, and I made a panel for my dad in the AIDS Memorial Quilt that we felt freed of that secret. And my dad is here with me tonight on the screen. You can see his panel, Dr. Joe J. Kramer. <laughs> you know, it was really after making that panel that, that we felt freed. And it was really at that point that I realized that I had a mission in life, and that was to do everything that I could do with all of the skills, talents that I had been given to help bring an end to this epidemic. You know, I've really come a long way since then. I've come from the trans I've really transitioned from being silent to being an activist. And I'm proud, wherever possible, to lend my voice to hopefully share a similar experience with people that may be going through a, a similar situation. In the same way that I advocate for my own health, I hope to empower those people living with HIV to do the same for themselves. Over the years, I've been fortunate to be involved in a lot of campaigns and in HIV initiatives that you might know about. You may have seen some of the work of the CDC's Testing Makes a Stronger campaign. <laughs> you might have seen some of the images, or even me, in the Greater Than AIDS ads. And again, I've done a lot of work with the AIDS Memorial Quilt and some other HIV groups around the nation. 
really, iDesign is just a continuation of those efforts. It's an opportunity to really talk to people about their health care plans and for them to figure out the best treatment program that's going to work for them. As a photographer, again, I'm the luckiest person in the world. I get to raise awareness through my art around HIV and AIDS, both in front of and behind the camera. While I'm standing behind my camera, I really have to use my eyes as the lens through which I see everything. And I see that through the HIV lens and really bring a spotlight to the awareness. And that's why I'm really proud to be a part of the iDesign team. I hope to serve as a role model for people that are living with the virus and to hopefully encourage them to take better care of themselves and to have meaningful dialogue, not only with their loved ones and the people that are close to them, but to their medical care providers and doctors. I think it's critically important that self-expression comes out in everything that we do. We're all creative. We really are. And I think that that self-expression that we each have is the ability to really work with your health care team and figure out what's best for you. If you're living with HIV, you need to talk to your case manager. You need to advocate for yourself and figure out the tools and resources that you need to be healthy and to live a healthy life. If you're a case manager, it's important that you give those skills to your patients, the skills and resources that they need so they can better take care of themselves. With my photography, I really aim to portray people in their best light. You know, my mother always told us that everyone is beautiful, everyone is different. So when I look through the lens and I take photographs of people, either portraits or for ad campaigns, you know, I want to capture the inner essence of that person, a snapshot of that specific moment in time, and to really give that back to the person. It's, it's really a self, a unique expression of themselves. The eye design came is really the same thing. You've got to figure out the best treatment program that's going to work for you. You've got to be creative. You've got to push back. I can't tell you all the times, initially, when I became uh, infected with the HIV virus and I was talking to my doctor, I didn't know what to talk about. I was scared. The great thing is that we've got so many different tools and resources available today. You know, we all live with apps on our phone all day long. So there are all kinds of organizations and apps out there that you can better use to help manage your health care and to really reflect and look at things through your own lens. We're all different. And as people living with HIV, it's critically important that we remember that. For those that are considering treatment, it's really important to talk about the key things that most of us know about. The key things that we need to talk about with our doctors are managing our viral load, our CD4 account, we should talk about any side effects that we're having, and, most, and just as important, we need to talk about other conditions that we might have, be it diabetes, hypertension, or cholesterol. It's so important to have a, a plan that's in focus for you. And that's the, something that I know the importance of firsthand. I can't tell you how amazing it's been the past few days to be here with so many friends. You know who you are, and again, I thank you. And to be here with so many new friends, you all know who you are. <laughs> so um, I want to encourage all of the advocates out there and all of those living with HIV to work together to help bring an end to AIDS. And I want you to live positively with the disease, and I want us to do everything that we can do to continue to educate, raise awareness, and really empower those living with HIV to beat the disease. Again, I've been so fortunate to be asked to be involved in so many different initiatives over the past 20 years in the community. And um, as I found my mission in life, uh, is to do everything that I can do to bring an HIV, an end to HIV and AIDS. I just want to thank you for all partnering with me and working together to make that a reality for us all. So again, thank you for being with me today. Thank you. Thanks, Dwayne. All right. How